And we have the different uh, process for the whole filaments. For example, you can make it more uh, smooth in the result, or you can uh, split or merge the different uh, dendrites branches here. Okay. But that in general is how it works. And for this uh, tracing, uh, auto pass tracing, if you don't want to start from the automatic in the beginning, detection in the beginning, maybe due to the complexity of the images or it's too big for automatic detection, then we can always uh, start from the semi-automatic auto pass. So for example, if you add the filament again and you skip automatic creation, it will lead you directly to this uh, draw tab and then you can start from this auto, auto pass. So here, to, to start a tracing, uh, switch your mouse pointer to select mode and hold the shift and the right click to place the starting point. Now you can see already, uh, when I move my mouse along with this uh, dendrites, the tracing already, tracing routes already uh, show here. So basically by comparing the intensity of the voxels between the pointer and the starting points, Imaris will automatically try to uh, link these uh, voxels as the uh, one of the dendrites. So here is the same as the previous uh, uh, semi-automatic auto pass detection. Just make sure your mouse size match to the diameter and hold the shift, left click, hold the shift, left click, hold the shift, left click to complete all these branch points like this. Okay. So here uh, there are there are some uh, useful shortcuts for you to, to make the tracing. For example, uh, when Imaris compare the intensity between the uh, mouse pointer to the starting points, it thinks this may be the best way, best route to make the tracing. But actually, this one, as we did previously, this should be from here. But as you can see, when I, my, when I move my mouse pointer further, it starts to, to make the wrong route. So here, to be able to, to you know, correct this error from the beginning, first, we can finish this tracing. Then from here, we can re redo the branch starting point from here. So instead of making the new starting point, now I'm holding the shift and the command key and the right click on this branch. So now I can redo I can draw this branch easily from this branch point. Okay, so here hold the shift, left click again to finish this trace. Okay, this is one way to correct this kind of uh, false root. Another way is, uh, let me remove this one first. Okay, and remove this one. Okay, so another way to draw this is by using another hard key. So here I select the pointer, starting point again, and uh, so a starting point. So here, because the, the farthest area uh, location I can go is until here, so I can ask Imaris to recalculate from here. Also, by holding the shift command and the left click, so from this point, Imaris will recalculate. Use this as a, a new point to recalculate. So now I can continue uh, drawing this branch and finish like this. And then if you want to start from here again, you need to go back to the edit and the point, select the starting point, then you can do it again here. Okay, so there are two ways you can use to help you to 
you know, manually, semi-automatically trace this result in a more accurate way. Right, so that is the auto pass. And for auto depth, for auto depth is less, a little bit less automatic than auto pass. So basically in the auto uh, depth algorithm, you really need to move your mouse manually along with this dendrite to be able to, to for your mouse to trace these structures. So here, uh, if I hold a shift, if I hold a, a shift and the left click, I can hold a left click. By holding the left click, I can move my mouse along with this uh, dendrites. And now I can release the left click to finish this drawing like this. So it's actually you know, where you move your mouse. So for example, for this part, I can hold a shift. Uh, no, I can just uh, use this point. Okay, select it. And uh, I can just hold a shift, left click to, to draw again. And I can really move this along with this structure. Okay, so let me see if I can make it. Okay, I can. All right, it's not as easy as in auto pass, but for some uh, samples, maybe it will be useful. But let me just delete it and see if I can you know, successfully make it. So hold the shift, left click, and keep moving along with this structure. So now it works. Right, finish, release the left key and the finish. So now you can see it correctly, you know, trace these branches according to your uh, pointer movement. But after you do the auto pass, I think it is more, you know, uh, the result will be better if you really use these functions because you can see there are some up and downs along with this uh, Z, Z axis because of the uh, intensity distribution. So now you can, you know, to whole filaments, you can do a recenter. And if you care about this diameter, you can redo the diameter again. So you can see these are also not too bad results. So these are the different ways you can use in Imara's auto pass or auto depth to semi automatically uh, trace uh, this different different uh, samples and when doing this auto pass auto depths you can already apply the automatic center and automatic diameter so you probably don't need to go back to here and do it again but in my personal preferences i just do it and uh, do the correction if needed here okay but you have the option to check these two automatic diameter and the center here and for the different viewing mode, it's basically for you to have a better visualization for the image you, for the area you want to trace. So for example, if I enable this a torch view, when I move my mouse along with the structures, it only gives you the highlighted uh, area along with your mouse pointer. So this is the torch view. It basically let you to focus on the the area you want to trace like, like this. Okay, so it may help in some way. And we have this uh, depth visibility to let you just visualize some part of some part of the uh, image. It's like a, a basically like a slice view for you to, to check whether this, this branch is actually uh, at the same plane as the other uh, branch or not. So just let you to focus on these areas you want to trace like this.
Okay, so uh, these are different ways, different views you can apply when you do the semi-automatic tracing to help you identify the specific uh, branch location. Okay, so that is the uh, auto pass and the auto uh, taps algorithm. For the manual, it's, it's really for you to draw on the single plane, but it's not, uh, not so popular, so I won't spend much time here, but you can try if you want.